हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू दी बाइजूज एग्जाम प्रैप द मोस्ट कॉम्प्रेंसिव ऐप फॉर ऑल एग्जाम्स नाउ 8085 8086 एंड माइक्रो कंट्रोलर दीज आर द पार्ट ऑफ सिलेबस ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग सर्विसेज प्री एग्जाम दैट इज ऑन व्हाट 19th फेब ओके गाइस नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू टेक अ क्विक रिवीजन अबाउट द माइक्रो प्रोसेसर वी विल डिस्कस व्हाट इंटरनल आर्किटेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस हियर द ऑल द इंस्ट्रक्शन सेट एंड some programs right and it is remember it is for what pre exam only that is for engineering services pre but it will help in other competitive exams like we have the bar quiz ro drdo and other competitive exams okay first of all let me know that sound quality picture quality everything is fine everyone please let me know that sound quality picture quality everything is fine okay guys so uh, this is a maha marathon on microprocessor right it is a one shot revision for you okay deepak kumar anand very good evening and uh, jyoti very good evening now uh a <laughs> uh, already get uh, uh, get exam is over now today we are discussing what response seat uh, response are available right but uh, we are providing you the complete solution for that okay as well as what rank predictor so you can get idea about your rank in gate 2023 but now it is time to focus on what coming exam that is engineering services exam so within 3 hours you will get the idea about this subject okay very good evening now this is my introduction myself sanjay rathi i am having around 21 years of teaching experience in the field of competitive exams especially in what engineering services and gate exam and during this i have qualified and selected for engineering services exam multiple times these are my ranks air 16 in ac 2005 air 21 in ac 2008 i worked as deputy director in ministry of power i have mentored more than 1 lakh student for this competitive exam to so please use my experience for coming exam then this is the byju's exam prep rank predictor to so go through this you can get idea about your rank this is already we have started from 15 fab you can register on our official website okay or on app to so, jaiye apni rank pata kijiye aur abhi nahi lekin ab abhi aap class attend kijiye and if you are thinking about the gate 2024 then this is the workshop for you by joseph sir am take from iit roorkee this is the complete road map to get air under 100 in gate 2024 please note the time on 18th feb at 7:30 pm to so attend kijiye apne jo bhi queries hai you can ask uh, your doubts also i get the idea about this jitna jaldi aap preparation start karenge utna hi zyada beneficial hai okay and this is on 19th feb upsc esc pre complete exam analysis just after second paper means what technical paper we have two paper first one non technical second one is technical to so 5 pm onwards we are going to start the analysis first of all paper 1 then what paper 2 and dear students it is important if you are giving the engineering services again if you are not giving the engineering services then because number of exams right it will help you to clear some doubts and you will get the idea about the questions bar hone wala hai ya aur bhi bahut sare competitive exams honge to usme jo ye concept hai ya jo knowledge hai na wo kaam aayega okay to bar mein kai bar aise hi questions aa jate hain to isko zarur attend kijiyega that is the exam analysis to so please subscribe the channel so that you will get the notification about that please note the time also 5 pm 6 pm on 19th feb just after the exam okay then now my dear friend uh in a microprocessor the most important one is what 8085 8085 microprocessor okay uh here we will discuss what internal structure what about the pin diagram uh idea about the pin instruction set okay and programs right programs we will discuss programs they will not ask you to write the program they will give you the program 
and after the execution of the program what about the content of program counter what about the content of stack pointer and what is the uh, final result what is the what is the content in accumulator and so on this type of program two liner three liner or maximum what ten liner program okay rohit very good evening priya priya uh, pius uh, sorry payas kumari very good evening to so, dipak now i think everything is fine now तो भाई जरा स्टूडेंट्स को बोल दीजिए अटेंड करने के लिए ओके आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट दिस सेशन नाउ तो ये मैराथन सेशन है मैराथन सेशन में आपको माइक्रो प्रोसेसर के कंप्लीट रिवीजन होने वाला है अब थोड़ा आप फोकस कर लीजिए यहां पर आपकी तैयारी नहीं तो डिस्टर्ब होगी उससे ओके धन now now my dear friend external architecture and internal architecture about the 8085 to everyone please give me the answer in comments box how many number of pins what about the address lines and what about the data lines in case of 8085 microprocessor so it is a quick revision uh, sir i am in uh, ec third year confused between the gate and what banking exam okay rajshree uh, we are here to provide you the technical content that is useful for what uh, gate and engineering services exam so don't worry about that first of all try to attend the class once you will get the confidence once you will get the command over the technical portion then you can decide to ek do mahine teen mahine try to attend the regular classes if you are comfortable with this then you can decide okay okay then then now my dear friend external architecture simple very fast very very fast this is a it is a 40 pin ic integrated chip right pin number 20 is ground pin but this type of questions they will not not ask but simply they will ask what is the number of pins 40 pins there is no chip enable pin in 8085 microprocessor right 8085 there is no enable pin just uh, in number of chips we have one pin for enable pin like in a decoder we are having what enable pin but there is no enable pin in this all 40 pins divided in six category what are the pin address pins data pins control and status pins frequency and power supply serial data transfer and externally initiated signal pins okay so how many students you have the idea about that now this is a total 80 pin diagram this is called pin diagram for 8085 microprocessor so total 40 pins but we can't mug up and they will not ask this type of question that what is the pin number 6, what is the pin number 5, what is the pin number 11, what is the pin number 16. This type of questions they will not ask in what exam. They will not ask uh, in exam. Okay. So, the, normally they will ask programming or what uh, about the instruction set. Then, now this diagram is very important. This one, uh, this one. So, what is this? This is a 40 pin IC. Here we are having the clock signal X1 and X2. Now try to understand. When we are giving the, we are using the crystal oscillator. For stability, we are using the crystal oscillator. Crystal oscillator will generate what clock signal. You heard about the oscillator, right? Highly stable oscillator. And this is what radio frequency oscillator. So it will generate the frequency in the range of megahertz. Okay. And suppose we want the 3 megahertz for this device, then it will generate 6 megahertz. And internally it is divided by 2. And that's why the clock frequency will become what 3 megahertz. Remember that crystal oscillator will generate the signal at 6 megahertz. It is divided by 2 and internally what is the required here? 3 megahertz. So what will be the objective question? They will ask if the 3 megahertz is required for microprocessor then the crystal oscillator will generate just double 6 megahertz <coughs> if it is the 6 megahertz then internally it is divided into what 3 megahertz then second this is the supply always remember 5 volt yes you have to apply the supply and then what ground pin this is the ground pin now address lies right so what is the basic purpose of this uh, microprocessor just I want to explain. Okay. 
now this is the microprocessor what are the basic function everyone give me the answer there are four basic function this is the input this is input device that is the microprocessor and the microprocessor will read the signal from input device so this operation is called input read input read microprocessor will read the data from the input device and that operation is called what input read now it will communicate with the output device this is the output device and that process is called output write it will transfer the signal from microprocessor to what that is the peripheral device this is the output device so this process is called output write now the microprocessor can write this data on memory or fetch the data from the memory so this is called memory read or memory write operation and this memory is what read write memory read write memory that is normally known as ram random access memory so this is a read write memory so microprocessor can read the data from memory or it can write the data on memory so this is called read write so there are four basic function so what are the four basic function memory read memory write right input output read and input output write it is basically input read and output right so normally we are saying that input output read and input output right okay and for communication very good evening advance kitchen okay for communication we want what address lines we want address lines so what are the address lines what are the address how many address lines 16 address lines in case of 8085 microprocessor then if it is a 16 address line then we can generate Sir, reply Raj Sri, my dear. I will, uh, uh, I will uh, uh, copy your message and copy your what uh, comments, and then in next session we will give the answer for all your question. Don't worry about that. Definitely we will note all these question. But this is the session to complete what microprocessor. Suppose I am going to give you the answer for all the question, then uh, it is not possible to cover the microprocessor within three hours. Okay, guys, uh, try to understand. Right. Ah, just say Omkar is asking about the what about the placement VLSI in IIT Bombay. You yes, you can put your question. Ah, uh, we will uh, cover all these question in coming session. Okay, Omkar, you can put your question, but it is not related to that session. Okay. Right. So what is the placement VLSI in IIT? Good placement, no problem. Our one friend is also there. He is placed. Okay. Now, until now, he is there. So that is that is we will discuss each and everything about the cut off marks. Uh, what about the rank placement each and everything okay yes you can give in 24 yeah if uh, you are going to cover uh, your if you're going to fulfill the age criteria then you will be eligible for ESE as well as gate now I think that is clear now that we have the 16 address lines so 16 means 2 to the power 16 that is total combination is 65536 combination 65536 combination. Remember that 2 to the power 10 is equivalent to what? 1024. 2 to the power 10 is equivalent to 1024 means there will be 1024 combinations. That is called binary combination if we are having the 10 lines. And that is 1024 is called 1K. 1024 is called 1K. And therefore, the 2 to the power 11. 2048 it is called what 2k similarly 2 to the power 12 4096 it is called what 4k similarly 2 to the power 13 it is called 8k 2 to the power 14 it is called 16k remember this there will be the question on this 2 to the power 15 it is called 32k and 2 to the power 16 it is called 64 k 64 what k and what is the here 1 k is not 1000 it is 1 k is what 1024 so 64 k means 64 into 1024 and you will get this value 64 into 1024 
means microprocessor can generate how many addresses 64k gen addresses can be generated because it has 16 address lines okay now how many data lines total 8 data lines so parallelly it can deal with the 8 data right 8 bit of data okay uh, it may be what from microprocessor to peripheral or from peripheral to what microprocessor for parallel operation and that's why it is called what 8 bit microprocessor it is a 8 bit microprocessor okay now similarly when 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 we are comparing with the 8086 in 8086 there is 20 address lines 20 address lines means how many addresses 2 to the power 20 it can generate 2 to the power 20 so we can say 2 to the power 10 into 2 to the power 10 2 to the power 10 is called 1k into 1k 1k into 1k is what 1 mega 1k into 1k is called 1 mega right 1 mega means it is not a 10 to the power 6 here what is the 1 mega means here 1024 multiplied with 1024 this much combinations this much combinations 1024 so the uh, 8086 address line is 20 data line is 16 data lines 16 and that's why it is called 16 bit microprocessor 8086 is called 16 bit microprocessor so that is the basic difference between 8085 and 8086 okay then the next one, a uh, microprocessor means try to understand uh, out of 16 lines, 8 lower address lines are multiplexed with what data lines, right? So, why? Because simply to reduce the number of pins, simply to reduce the number of pins. Now, watch this diagram. Here, this is called higher order address lines from A15 to what? A8, A to A15. Now, here, 8 data lines are multiplied with 8 address lines and it is represented by AD0 to what? AD7. So, it is A0 to A7 as well as D0 to what? D7. So, at the same time, these lines will be used as what? Address line. At the same time, they will be used as what? data lines that is called multiplex multiplex address and data lines and to differentiate between this we are using what a l e a l e that is called address latch enable okay this is the address latch enable now this point this is called what status signal s naught and s1 these are called status signal and that is input output and memory this is the memory Input output memory means already I have given major four operation memory read, memory write, input output read, input output write. So, whether it is a memory operation or input output operation, right? For example, in your uh, CPU, we are having what? Uh, memory as well as at the same time we have input devices like keyboard, we have output devices like what? Display. So, this uh, keyboard and display are what? input and output devices what about the memory we can write the data on the memory means we can save the data or at the same time we can fetch the data from the memory so we can read a microprocessor can read and microprocessor can write so but we have to decide whether it is a memory operation or input output operation if this pin is zero it is a memory operation it is a bar if this pin is one it is a input operation input operation okay now no, if this pin will decide whether it is an input operation or memory operation, whether it is a read operation or write operation, read or write. So, read means the microprocessor will fetch the data, right? And the data will travel from the peripheral devices to what microprocessor, write means the data will travel from microprocessor to peripheral. So, there are two pins, read and write, and these are the active low pin. Active low pin means if suppose the read pin is 0, means it is a read operation. If the write pin is 0, means it is a write operation. But always remember, both will never equal to 0 simultaneously because we can't do the read 
as well as right at the same time. So that may be the question. What will be the question? Please give me which options are correct. For example, about the read and write. Read is equal to 0, write is equal to 1. Write pin is equal to 1. Yes, it is possible. Uh, it is called read operation. B. Read 0. Write 0. C. Read 1. Write 0. D. Read 1. Write 1. Which one is not possible here? Which one is not possible? Everyone give me the answer. That is this type of question from the pin diagram. Yes, tell me. Which one is not? Because the, there will be the 15 to 20 questions from that portion. So guys, you have to give the answer. It may be from the, from the first of all pin diagram, then internal architecture, then uh, memory interfacing. Then there will be the question from what programs and so on. Okay. So Deepak given the answer B. Yes, that is not possible. Why? Because simultaneously read and write, it is not possible. It is an active low signal. It is called read operation. It is called write operation. It is no operation. Yes, there will be no read, no write. No problem. That is also, but that is not the case. Okay. So, this is the possibility. Okay, Deepak. Yes, your answer is correct. Now, next. Next. Uh, they will ask, how many uh, inward pins? Inward means from any peripheral device to what? Towards microprocessor. Towards what? Microprocessor. So, how many pins? So, you can count here. Inward pins means this is also inward pin. Right? This is VCC supply is the inward pin. Ground is the inward pin. And now you can count here. Data line is inward. Yes, 8 data lines inward as well as outward. Address lines is always outward. Address lines is always outward, ALE outward, status signal outward, this is outward, read outward, write outward, reset out, clock out, and, uh, and that is that all are the interrupts. I will one by one I will explain this. So this is the inside, this all are the inside, ready pin is inside, hold pin is inside, reset in is the inside, interrupt, acknowledge, that is the outside. Hold, acknowledge, that is the outside. Now you can count all these pin. Finally, I will give the answer for this. Okay. So, that is the pin. Please watch this diagram carefully. This is the reset in, reset out. From this diagram, you can count, you can count total number of address pins are 16, total number of data pins are 8, right? The lower byte of the address pin also work as data pins. In 8085, 5 pins are active low. Which are the 5 pins? This is the memory. It is active low operation. Read is the active low. Write is the active low. Interrupt acknowledge is the active low. And reset in is the active low. Active low means what? When it is 0, it is active. When it is 1, it is inactive. We are putting the bar there. The bar means it is the active low. So how many pins? 5 pins. In 8085, number of pins direction outward is what? 27. For example, address lines, total 16. Outside, that is called what? 27. Input, output, memory operation, outside, ALE, outside, read, outside, write, outside, status signal, outside. So, yeah. These are the total 27. You can count. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 and so on. When we are counting, total 27 lines. Okay. And how many pins? Direction inward, 21 pins. 21 pins inside, okay, towards the microprocessor, towards the microprocessor. So, it is a very, very, very simple type questions on the pin diagram. I think that is clear to you. Now, any doubt here to remember that? Now, my dear friend, when we are having the number of what is the function? What is the sir? 8086 uh, B. Huh, I will give the idea about that, basic idea about that, Gajendra. And what is the difference between the 8085 and 8086? Because in uh, exam, they will ask this type of question in engineering services pre at the end. But first of all, try to understand 
Now, what is the function? Already I have given 2 to the power 6, that is called 65536. <coughs> Total addresses. Then tell me for 32 kilobyte memory, number of address lines. How many number of address lines is required for 32k kilobyte memory? Kilobyte memory means group of bits is called word. Group of bit is called word. Group of 8 bit is called 1 byte and group of 16 bit is called 2 byte and 4 bit is called nibble means 1 byte is equivalent to a 2 nibble 2 nibble that is the 4 group of 4 bits is called 1 byte that is what Okay, Deepak, you have given the 15. Yes. Now, 32 kilobyte memory, number of address lines, means we are assuming that, right, how many number of, this is, okay, uh, these are the four different questions actually. Try to understand. Okay, Anand, this is not the uh, one question. This is a four different question. In four different question, you have to give the answer for four answers. First of all, Try to understand this. So, this is a very logical question. They will ask one out of this. If there are total 8 data lines, this is called data line. This is the bi directional. No? This is the bi 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Bi directional data lines. Okay. Then, how many address lines is required? So then that is the size will become 32k cross 8. This is called 1 byte. 32 cross k into 8. Then there will be what total 15 lines. 2 to the power 15. 15 address lines. So this is the 32k. But in a second case, if there are 4 data lines, only 4, then there will be what? 16 address lines. Then we can write 2 to the power 15 into 2 into 4 data lines. Means in every register there will be the 4 bit only. In every register there will be 8 bit. This is the 8 bit storage that is called what? 4 bit storage. If that, that will be the case then my dear friend how many address lines everyone tell me? There will be what? 16 address lines. So, 16 address lines means what? 2 to the power 16 into 4. You can write 2 to the power 15 into 2 into 4. That is called 2 to the power 15 into what? 8 and that is called 32k or 8 is called byte. Okay. Now, tell me if the number of data line is 16 means what? Then how many address lines? 14. 14 address lines. So, then again the size will become 2 to the power 14 and what is the data line total 16. You can write it what 2 to the power 14 into 2 into 8 and that will become 2 to the power 15 into 8 and that is nothing but 32k into byte. 32 kilobyte. Okay. If the number of data lines is 32, yes you can increase 32k right or that is a 32 lines right you can write it like that how many address lines is required then how many address lines is required 32 kilobyte okay then 13 you can check you can check so yahan lag rahi agar 15 to half kiya 16 iska double kiya to 14 iska double kiya to 30 this is the 13 address lines. I think now it is clear. Ha, to ye aega question. Aise aate question, jo hardware pe aapke questions aate ho, bohut hi quickly within 20 seconds we have to give the response. So don't worry about the paper. Uh, around 30 to 40 percent question, the level of the question will be this type. But in engineering services exam, we have to solve 150 question within three hours. Time management is important. Quickly, we have to give the response and there will be the negative marking. Okay. Now, next thing. Next one. 
next one for 16 kilobyte what are the number of hardware pins so for 16 kilobyte that is the simple i am giving you the solution there is a different types of uh, solution and you can write if it is a uh, eight data lines then 16 kilobyte we can directly in exam you can solve like this 16 kilobyte that like this is in 8085 what is the total address uh, data lines 8 bit byte is converted into this 16 means 2 to the power 4 1k 2 to the power 4 is the extra line 1k means what 2 to the power 10 into 8 bit this is the byte so this is the 2 to the power 14 means total how many address lines 14 address lines 14 address lines from 0 to what 13 always remember from 0 to 13 address lines and total 8 data lines in this way we can define it we can define it this is the given here these are called data lines this is the number of this is 14 and number of data lines is what 8 how many hardware pins kitne log hai jo solve kar lenge ise are you ready to solve like this okay then okay guys now ab aate zara maine aap logo ko bataya read write control pins so what is the function of the microprocessor i think now it is clear now my dear friend uh, we will solve some question on what memory interfacing and then uh, I will give you the idea about the how to solve the question on what memory interfa interfacing and how we are going to get the range range of that okay range of that so types of interfacing memory interfacing input output interfacing memory mapped input output interfacing peripheral mapped input output interfacing and this is the case okay then now try to understand this diagram this is the microprocessor microprocessor can communicate with this memory remember this is the memory this is these are the devices with this diagram you will understand the concept of what interfacing right these are the it may be memory or it may be what what input output devices right now try now if both the signals are present read as well as write then it is a memory okay this is a memory read as well as write if only read signal is present Tell me what is this input device or output device then only write signal is present if only read signal is present means it is an input device if the write signal is present it is an output device we can write here if read and write both are present means it is a memory we can read we can also write if only read signal is present means it may be what read only memory means we can only read the data we can't write on that okay second thing so these are the memory then second one always remember there is a total higher order address lines from a15 to what a7 a8 it is always outward outward all are outward then second is what from ad7 to ad0 to what ad7 these are called multiplex line in a multiplex line initially they will use this address line then after that they will use as what data lines so here we are using one latch combination of flip flop d flip flop here we are using the eight d flip flops eight d flip flop and that is connected here now we have total eight lines and here we are having the ale address latch enable when the ALE is 1, all the latches are enabled and initially this uh, use as what address lines and they will save the address here. They will save the 8 bit lower order address in this latch and that is why it is called address latch enable. Address latch enable. Okay. When it is 1, it will enable the latch and this address will save in this particular latch it is the external hardware always remember it is a external hardware okay 
Now we have the three signals input output memory read and write with the help of these three signal and with the help of external hardware we are connecting here and we are going to generate four active low signals. What are the active low signals? One is called memory read, second is called memory write, input output read and input output write. All are active low. This is the question to all our active low signal that is again generated by external hardware with the help of this three fin. With the help of this three fin, we are generating the four signal and four all are what active low signal. Okay. Now remember that here you try to understand this. This type of questions they will ask. Okay. Now, now my dear friend, this signal and that address and this is the higher order address. Okay. No doubt there is will be the supply VCC. And there will be the ground. Most second, first of all, focus on all this thing. Now, for example, we are using one inverter here, and this is the enable pin. This is the NAND gate, and that is the connected. This is enable. It is an active low pin. Now, all higher order address lines are connected here from A15 to what A8. And the lower order address line, these are called A7 to what A0. These are connected here. A0 to so what A7 is connected here. And here we are having the data lines from D7 to D0. Try to understand. In every case, we have the data line D7 to D0. D7, this is the bidirectional. That's why I am not giving any arrow here. D7 to D0. D7 to D0. Bidirectional. Okay. These all are connected to the microprocessor from this point. This one. This is the point. So just I am not connecting, but just I am giving you the idea. This is connected to D7 and that is connected to what? To D0. Similarly, all the D7 to D0 are connected to what? Microprocessor. These eight lines are connected to microprocessor. These eight lines are connected to microprocessor. All are connected here. D7 to D0. Okay. Now, what will be the question? What about the address range of this memory? What about the address range of this memory? Similarly, here there will be the another AND gate. And this is used to enable this particular memory. So they will give you the four lines and they will use bubble here. For example, they are using the bubble here and there is no bubble. So this type of this, this will decide the higher order address. This will enable the particular memory and here the lower order address lines are connected here. You have to find the memory range of this. You have to find the memory range of this device. Okay. So that is the connection. That is the actually the hardware. So this is the hardware. Now similarly, if it is an input device, if it is an input device, so what is the difference between the memory and input device? What is the difference between the memory and input device? Memory has 16 bit address. Memory has what? 16 bit address. Means if suppose you want to communicate with the memory, the microprocessor will send 16 bit data. 16 bit data through address lines. Okay. But for input device and output device, the address is what? 8 bit only 8 bit for example it is an input device now there will be only 8 lines this 8 lines will 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 that is the 8 lines similarly 8 lines is connected here 8 lines are connected here so with this diagram i am going to compare all these things okay so normally microprocessor will communicate with two types of devices. One, uh, this, these are called external peripheral. One is called memory. Another one is called input and output devices. So memory means what? It may be read write memory or read memory only, read only memory. Or uh, if we are having the both type of signal read as well as write means it is a random access memory, read write memory. If only we have the read signal, then it is a read only memory. 
Input device means uh, if it is the read operation, read pin is given means it is an input device, write pin is given means it is an output device. For memory, 16 bit address is required, and for input and output devices, 8 bit address is required. Now, one by one, I want to ask some questions. So, what is the range of the address for the input and output device, everyone? Range of address. Range of address for input and output devices. My dear friend, we have the 8 lines, therefore 2 to the power 8 means 256 total combination. 256 total combination. First combination all 0, 8 bit all are 0 and last combination is all are 1. Make the pair of 4, so this is the 0, 0, H, this is called in hexa and this is called F, F, H. You have, have idea how to convert the binary into hexa everyone. You can convert it binary to hexa. Yes or no? Okay. Otherwise I can give 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay. 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 And right. Okay. This is called 0, 0, 0, 0. You have to convert it. Eight and that is what nine. And after nine, what is ten? Ten means one zero one zero. It is represented by A. Eleven means one zero one one. It is represented by B. Twelve one one zero zero C. Thirteen one one zero one D. 14 1 1 1 0 E and finally 15 1 1 1 1 that is represented by F that is the representation in hexadecimal make the group of 4 ok so that is the case and you have to give the all the addresses in the range of uh, in terms of what hexa so what is the address range for input and output device 0 0 H to what FFH now everyone tell me can we give the same address to input device and same address to the output device yes is it possible the name for the input device is Ravi and the same name for the output devices is also Ravi. Is it possible? Means same address for input device and same address for the output device. Yes, it is possible. For example, it is an input device. If I am giving the address FFH, FF means all R1. When all R1 from A0 say A A7, then this particular chip is enabled, but at the same time, microprocessor will be will send the read signal. Then that is the address for what input device. At the same time, let this is also connected external hardware. With the help of external hardware, we can get the higher uh, address for this device is also called FFH. All are one 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 one. When all are one 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 one, then here you are getting the zero, and this particular device will be enabled. But when we are giving all 1 from A7 to A0, all are 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, then this address is called FFH. When the microprocessor will send FFH, this device is enabled, this device is enabled. Both are enabled because they have the same address. Is it possible to give the same address to input device and output device? Yes or no? Give me the answer in comment box. Is it possible to give the same address to input and output devices. This is the input device and that is the output device. Tell me, is it possible? If this the read signal is given, it is the input device. Write signal is given, that is the output device. Outside the, inside the data. Yes, we can give the same address to input device as well as output device. Because once it is enabled because of address lines. For example, we are giving the same address FFH, FFH. But microprocessor will differentiate between input device and output device with the help of what? Control signal. And what are the control signal? Read signal. If the read signal is 0, means microprocessor want to communicate with the input device. If the write signal is 0, means microprocessor want to communicate with what? Output device. If both read and write are 1 1, means microprocessor do not want to communicate. No doubt address is generated, but does not want to communicate with input device or output device. 
and uh, my dear friend already i have given read and write both the control signal will never become equal to what zero simultaneously right read equal to zero write equal to zero that is not possible in case of microprocessor so that's why so means what will be the question 2 to the power 8 256 addresses for input devices 256 addresses for output devices separate right input devices and output devices total 256 plus 256 means what 512 addresses but we can we can't mix 256 separate input device 256 separate output device okay tell me if the input devices are more than 256 then how we can generate the address how we can generate the address if the input device number of input devices number of input devices more than what 256 then how we can generate because total eight lines we can't generate but in that case in that case we have to use the address lines more than what eight again it is possible for example if this is a input device try to understand this is the input device this read signal is given here now if it is a eight address lines eight address lines for example you are connecting from a0 to a7 only and already i have given the microprocessor will generate the four signal memory read memory write input output read input output write already i have given there will be the four control signal this is the memory read operation memory write operation input output read input output write if it is a input operation then input output read is connected here this pin input output read is connected here okay means it is a input device right second thing if it is a memory operation then memory read memory write is connected here from microprocessor this pin are connected here memory read as well as what memory write is connected here this is the read this is the write and this is what address lines total 16 bit address is defined from a15 to what a8 and remaining here a7 to what a0 okay no problem but for memory there is a 16 bit address for input output there is, there is a 8 bit address this is the end. and what are the control signal for input devices input output read is connected for uh, output devices input output write is connected so here we have to connect input output write input output write pin from microprocessor it is connected here here input output read is connected here this pin okay but if you want to increase the number if you want to uh, increase the number of devices then last important concept let this is the input device okay now you can give it a 16 bit address 16 bit address you can put any value 1 2 3 4 5 all the 16 lines are connected here from a15 to what a0 all are connected then this device is enabled but you have to connect let like this is the read operation no doubt this is the read pin from microprocessor you have to connect what memory read you can't connect the input output read if that is the case that is the case no doubt it is externally it is an input device but for microprocessor actually it is what memory so for memory the microprocessor will generate what memory read signal or what memory write signal so that is called memory mapped input output peripheral devices memory mapped input output peripheral devices actually we are giving the 16 bit address to the input device and uh, what output devices with the help of external hardware but at the same time because we are treating the input device or output device as a memory and that's why we are connect we are not connecting the control signal input output read and input output write we are connecting which control signal memory read or memory write are you getting my point everyone are you getting this point this is a very very important one there will be the question on this concept okay there is a question this is the output device if it is output device then this is connected here 
memory read write and again 16 bit address 1 2 3 4 up to what a 0 to what a 15 if it is given it is given data always write down the direction of the data if the direction is inside from microprocessor to peripheral then this is called write operation if data is outside data line is outside then from peripheral towards microprocessor then it is called what input device input output with the help of arrow remember that with the help of arrow you have to decide whether it is input device or output device memory memory bound input output peripheral devices yes now are you ready to solve some questions on that okay so what which type of questions they will ask i'm going to solve here so this is the memory mapped input output now my dear friends memory interfacing you have to solve some questions on that okay one minute This is the, for example, that this is the question. No, this is the question. For example, yes, tell me what is the range? Try to understand uh, from digital, we have one decoder here. This is the chip enable is connected here. Always watch this diagram. They will ask what is the range of the address range of this, uh, this particular memory. Read write memory 256 cross 8. It is written here that is the capacity of the memory 256 register and what is the capacity of each register 8 bit AD0 to AD7 means lower address lines are connected here and that chip will be enabled when we are getting the 0 this is written as 04 when output number 4 is 0 then that chip is enabled this is the decoder with inverted output and uh, 04 means 04 when it will become 0 and all other will remain 1 it is possible when we are giving 100 here because it is the MSB but this decoder will work this decoder will work when we are giving 11 here when we are giving the 1 1 it will become 0 0 or we, when we are giving 0 0 here when we are giving the 0 0 it will become 1 1 here and that particular decoder will be enabled and then it will take 100 as an input when it will take 100 as an input then this is 0 and that particular chip will be enabled okay in comments box everyone try to give me the answer if you have the command over that then give me the range of this and before that i will give you a very very easy question then i will solve this one okay first of all so if you have any idea then try to solve this Okay, first of all, very easy question. I want to give you very, very easy question. Everyone give me the range of this chip. First, fast. This is the chip enable, active low, read, write. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is from A15 and this is what A8. And they will ask what is the address range of this particular memory? Address range of this particular memory. How many data lines? Total eight data lines. Okay. In hexa, you have to give the answer. First of all, always watch when this chip will be enabled from a15 to a8 always watch this when it is one 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 and last three pins will be zero 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 then here the output will be zero this is the nand gate when all the inputs are one then the output will be zero then this particular chip will be enabled and this is called lower order address lines how many lower order address lines from a15, A14, A13, A12, A11, A10, A9, A8, A7, A6, A5, A4, A3, A2, A1, A0. Lower order address are always 
स्विच फ्रॉम ऑल जीरो टू ऑल वन दिस इज द लोएस्ट एड्रेस दिस इज कॉल्ड हाइएस्ट एड्रेस ऑल जीरो टू ऑल वन बट हायर ऑर्डर एड्रेस विल रिमेन फिक्सड वट इज द हायर ऑर्डर एड्रेस वन 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 जीरो 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 वन 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 जीरो 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 दिस इज कॉल्ड हायर ऑर्डर एड्रेस वन 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 जीरो 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 इट विल रिमेन फिक्सड दैट इज फॉर चिप बट लोअर ऑर्डर एड्रेस विल चेंज फ्रॉम ऑल जीरो टू ऑल वन नाउ मेक द ग्रुप ऑफ फोर मेक द ग्रुप ऑफ फोर तो दिस इज द जीरो 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 दिस इज द जीरो 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 दिस इज कॉल्ड दिस इज So what is the lowest range? This is the F. This is the eight zero zero. And what is the last range? F eight F F H F eight zero zero H two F eight F F A F. That is called the range from lower order to what? Lower address range to what? Higher address range. So they will ask what is the range of this particular. I think now it is clear. If you have any doubt, then you can ask anyone. You can put any doubt related to that. So what is the method? First of all, get the higher order address. Higher order address will remain same. Then, guys, write the lower order address. First lower order address is all zero. Then last order uh, lower order address is what? All one. Make the group of four. to convert it into what hexadecimal and finally you will get the answer f800 to what f8 ffh okay and that is the case right now <coughs> sir pehle multi nand gate ka option dekhna hoga yes means what deepak sir मुझे नैंड गेट का यस नॉट नैंड गेट नैंड गेट यू हैव टू फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल नैंड गेट और व्हाट डिकोडर दैट इज अ वेरी वेरी बेसिक क्वेश्चन नॉट ट्राई टू सॉल्व दिस अगेन अनदर क्वेश्चन दिस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन वेरी सिंपल फॉर एग्जांपल दैट इज कनेक्टेड हियर नाउ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल राइट ऑलवेज चेक दिस लाइन फॉर एग्जांपल टोटल इलेवन लाइंस आर हियर टोटल ट्वेल्व लाइंस आर कनेक्टेड हियर नाउ हियर वी आर कनेक्टिंग व्हाट व्हाट डिकोडर राइट and this is a 0 to 2 1 2 3 this is a four line decoder and this is a active low one is connected here this is enable pin not right or stand so we have to use only two lines here right like this is the 812 813 811 812 813 now here we are using the nand gate to enable this decoder and here we are using the three lines okay and what are the three lines or two lines a14 and a15 we are using two lines a14 and a15 a14 a15 everyone that is visible a15 a14 a13 a12 and then a11 a02 a11 so total 16 lines are defined here right now the read signal is given here write signal is given here this means it is a memory read write memory okay now they will ask find the range of this so when you have to find the range of this when this decoder this is a 224 line decoder so when this will be enable then what is the range so that type of questions right i am giving you the very simple one so write the range here how we can write the range first of all write the number a15 a14 a13 a12 a11 a10 a8 9 a8 a7 a6 a7 a8 a9 a10 a11 a12 a13 a14 a15 a16 a17 a18 a19 a20 a21 a0 okay then when this gate will be enable when we want zero here so zero means both are one one so a15 is one but a14 should be equal to what zero so zero will become one okay this is called higher order address this is called middle order address when this will enable when here we are going to get the zero all are active low 
so when it is connected to one one means what zero one this is a decoder so zero one when we are giving the zero one this is called middle order address then now this decoder decoder will send zero here when this zero is here then this device is enabled this is called higher order address this is called lower order and that is uh, this is called middle order and that is what lower order address is so lower order address will all zero and then finally this will remain same one zero zero one middle order and this will remain same for the memory then finally all one right that is the case now you have to make the group of what four what is the group of four this is four okay this is four now tell me what is the range one zero zero one it is nine this is zero 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 is zero 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 nine zero 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 And final address is nine f f h nine f f h. So this is called higher order. This is called middle order, and this is called lower order. Lower order will uh, uh, all zero to what all one. I think now it is clear. Okay, this is clear. First of all, that this and this finally. So in number of cases they will ask what is the range of the diagram. You have to give the answer. Okay, this is called interfacing. How the microprocessor will communicate with the peripheral devices? Peripheral devices means what memory device, memory or what read-write memory, read-only memory, input devices or output devices. Okay, then or controller. कोई भी doubt है तो पूछिए भाई यहाँ. Any doubt? Any 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 doubt? Then you can ask. Now tell me, what is the range of this? What is the range of this particular device? Not is a very very important one. Try to understand. Here A zero say A zero to A seven it is defined. Address this is used as data line as well as address lines. So A zero to A seven this is the address lines. Only eight are the lower order address lines. This is the middle order and that is what higher order. So higher order because we want to make it enable. So we are using the zero zero. It is a decoder. When we are giving the zero zero, this decoder will enable. And this O four output four number is connected to get the zero at O four. It is one zero zero because it is MSB is given. But my dear friend, what about the three lines? Three lines means eight, nine, ten. Eight, nine, ten because it is zero to seven. It is eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So what about the eight, nine, ten? So eight, nine, ten is not given in the question. Eight, nine, ten is not defined in the question, right? If every pin is defined, for example, in this case, all pins are defined from A fifteen to what A zero. All are defined in this diagram. In a previous question, again, all pins are defined from A zero to A fifteen. Means it has unique address range. This is called what absolute is addressing. All pins are defined here. Absolute addressing. Higher order will remain fixed for that memory. Okay, absolute addressing. But in this case, again, it is absolute addressing. But in this case, A eight, A nine, A ten are not defined. Okay, then. This is called what partial addressing. Partial addressing. So, what is the partial addressing? For example, in this case, what is the higher order address? Zero zero. So you can put this is the zero zero. A eight fifteen and A fourteen. Then what is just the middle order address? One zero zero. What is the lower order address from A seven to A zero? So first of all, all are zero. And last, all are one. Okay, and that is the case. So uh, higher order address will remain same. But what about this three? What about these three lines? Now these three lines you can choose any value. You can choose what any value. Any value means what? These are not defined. 
तो इफ देर आर थ्री लाइन आर नॉट डिफाइंड वी हैव टोटल एट कॉम्बिनेशन फ्रॉम ऑल जीरो 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 टू वट ऑल वन 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 यू कैन चूज एनी वैल्यू फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई एम गिविंग फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई एम गिविंग वॉट जीरो 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 फॉर ऑल दिस तो वॉट इज द फर्स्ट एड्रेस रेंज इट विल बिकम मेक द पेयर ऑफ फोर मेक द पेयर ऑफ फोर तो इट विल बिकम वन दिस इज सॉरी टू दिस विल बिकम जीरो दिस इज द टू जीरो एफ एफ एच दैट इज दैट रेंज फॉर टू जीरो 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 एच टू टू जीरो एफ एफ एच बट यू कैन ऑल्सो चूज जीरो जीरो वन इनिशियली आई एम चूजिंग द जीरो 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 टू जीरो जीरो वन तो यू कैन इन सेकेंड केस यू कैन चूज जीरो जीरो वन वेन आई एम चूजिंग द जीरो जीरो वन द एड्रेस विल बिकम टेक द पेयर ऑफ फोर तो फर्स्ट एड्रेस दिस इज बिकम टू वन जीरो जीरो एच टू वट टू वन एफ एफ एच वट वॉज द रेंज जीरो टू जीरो 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 एच टू वट टू जीरो एफ एफ एच नाउ सेकेंड बिकम टू वन जीरो जीरो एच टू टू वन एफ एफ एच बट द मेमोरी इज सेम मेमोरी इज सेम वॉट नाउ यू कैन ऑल्सो चूज वॉट जीरो वन जीरो इफ आई एम चूजिंग द जीरो वन जीरो देन इट विल बिकम वॉट टू टू जीरो जीरो एच टू वट टू टू एफ एफ एच टू टू एफ एफ एच और फाइनली यू कैन चूज जीरो वन वन जीरो टू टू जीरो वन जीरो जीरो वन जीरो वन 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 एंड सो ऑन यू कैन फाइनली चूज वन 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 दैट इज द लास्ट कॉम्बिनेशन मेक द पेयर ऑफ फोर यू आई एम चूजिंग दिस then it will become 20 27 f f h to what 2700h 2700h to 27 f f h to the memory is same but we can find different address range so if i am choosing 000 the range will be 200h to what 20 f f If I am choosing zero zero one, that is the don't care because that is not defined. So we can choose zero zero one. Then it will become two one zero zero s to two one f f. When I am giving the zero one zero zero one zero, then it will become two two zero zero to two two f f. Or finally, when I am giving the one 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 and one one one, then it will become two seven zero zero to two seven f f. So how many address range? Total eight address range. Total eight address range. From two zero 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 H two zero F F two one zero zero two one F F two two zero zero two two F F two three zero zero two three F F and two four zero zero to two four F F right and finally it will become two seven zero zero. To what two seven f f h? Why? Because three pins are not defined. So we have total eight address range. So what will be the objective question? They will ask, what is the first address range for that? So this is the two zero zero h. And what is the last address range that is possible? You can say two seven f f h. Two seven f f h. so all this range all this name is used by what that particular memory okay ek to aisa hai na jaise maan lo class mein aapke paas total total kya hai maan lo aapko 20 roll number dena hai 20 roll numbers from 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 11 up to what 20 roll number tak aapko distribute kar you have to distribute the total 20 roll numbers if in your class total 20 students are there then my dear friend we will give the roll number 1 to the first student roll number 2 to the second student roll number 3 to the third student and roll number 20 to the 20th student because we have the 20 students and we have the total 20 roll numbers 1 to what 20 to every student have what unique roll number yes okay but suppose we are having the 20 roll numbers only 20 roll numbers but 
only the students are what only 10 or five students are there only five students are there five students are there only five students and we have the total 20 roll numbers then for first student we will give him the choice choose any four roll numbers he will choose Sir, I will choose what? 1, 2, 3, 4. So we are giving the same address to this. 1, 2, 3, 4 roll number. Then second one will choose 5, 6, 7, 8. So we will give it what? 5, 6, 7, 8. Third one is what? We can give. Sir, we will give 2 or 10 or 11. And remaining again you hit 1, 4. Then you can give the 4 and so on. Are you getting my point everyone? Address range available are very high. But the devices are very low. Devices are very low, right? No doubt address range are what from, uh, we have the total what, uh, 16 address lines, but devices are only what, one, only one device we have to deal. Tell me, which is more efficient, that type of question. Suppose, so this is what, when we are giving the unique addresses, then it is called what, absolute addressing and when we are giving what, uh, Partial, we are not defining each line, then it is called what? Partial, right? Partial addressing. In case of partial addressing, less hardware is required. How? Please compare and then that is the it, uh, yeah, assertion or reason type of question and so on. For example, this is the microprocessor, everyone try to understand. And we have only one memory. And this is the microprocessor. We have only one memory here. Only one memory. Right, try to understand. And memory has the capacity lower order address is A0 to A7. Again, the lower order address is A0 to A7. No doubt it has the A15 to what A8 address lines or A B7 to A D0 data lines or multiplex lines. Similarly, huh? But on, we have only one memory. We have only one memory. Or tell me, in this case, we are using an external gate and all the eight lines are connected here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 from A8 to what? A15. Okay. Here only A15 is connected. Here only A15 is connected here. Right. Okay. Now, tell me, in that case, in that case, when all the 8 pins are 1, when all the 8 pins are 1, then there will be the 0 and this particular device is selected here and that then it will take what lower order address, okay. But because we have to deal with the one memory only, I am connecting a direct wire. If the A15 is 0, if the A15 is 0, this will communicate with this memory and it will take the lower order address and this is the, it will transfer the data through the data lines, okay. Right, when the A15 is 1, it will not want to communicate with this. What about the A14 to A8 or A8 to A14? It does not require because we have to deal with the one memory. Tell me, what is the name of this? It is what absolute addressing. All the 16 lines are defined. It is called partial addressing because Lower address lines we have to define, but higher order address only A15 is defined. When it is 0, it will communicate with the memory. When it is 1, it will, it does not want to communicate with the memory. This is called partial decoding. Because we have to deal with the only one, what? One external hardware. That is what only one memory. Tell me which one is more efficient, first one or second one? More efficient. So, in this case, we have to use what one extra NAND gate, 8 input NAND gate, extra hardware is required that will increase the cost as well as there will be the propagation delay. This is a very simple circuit, no external hardware is required, right and that is why and that is a no combinational circuit here and that is why the the delay will be less as well as external hardware is not there and that is why the cost of this system is very low and that is the advantage of what partial decoding. That is the advantage of partial decoding. I think now this is clear. 
दिस इज क्लियर तो पार्शियल डिकोडिंग मीन्स वेन ऑल द एड्रेस लाइन आर नॉट डिफाइंड then that type of addressing is called what partial if all the 16 address lines are defined then it is called absolute addressing this is the partial this is the absolute addressing okay okay so this type of question assertion or reason which points are correct regarding that they will ask this type 1 2 3 4 5 4 6 uh, statements which statements are correct this type of questions okay now i think now you got the idea how to find the range and so on right uh, the first give me the answer so that is a, a first memory second memory third fourth right or uh, try to understand this a15 a14 a13 o4 is connected here o4 is connected here then a13 a14 a15 right now no 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 this is a printing mistake uh, one minute one minute and that is what A eleven, A twelve, A thirteen, A ten, A eleven, A twelve, A ten, A eleven, A twelve is connected here. A thirteen, A fourteen, A fifteen is connected here, and now this is connected here. So what is the range of this chip? What is the range of the first chip? Because the lower order address is A zero to A nine, but this will be enabled when we are getting the zero here. When we are getting the zero here, it is a O zero. O zero means output zero. When all these are zero zero zero, then this is uh, will make it zero. Then this particular chip will selected, and uh, this is connected to O four. O four means when we are giving one zero zero here. What is the higher order address? One zero zero. What is the middle order address? Zero zero zero. And what is the lower order address? All zero to all one. And uh, this is the read signal is given. Write signal is given means it is a read write memory. Read write memory. Find the range of this. Only read signal is given. Only read signal is given. It is that's why it is a read-only memory. Only the read signal is given. That is the read signal control signal, and that's why it is also a read-only memory. Now, what is the lower order address? Thirteen lines. Total thirteen lines. A zero to what? A twelve. Total thirteen lines. Okay. Here, A zero to A twelve. Again, total thirteen lines. This is connected to what? O seven. O seven means for this. Higher order address lines A fifteen, A fourteen, A thirteen will be one one one. When we are giving the one 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 here, this is zero and this particular chip is enabled. Then A zero to A twelve. For this, it is connected to zero. It is connected to zero. So what is the A fourteen, A fifteen, A fourteen? It will be zero zero zero. When is zero zero zero? This that particular chip is selected. And when this will selected? When it is one zero zero. One zero zero means this decoder is selected. Then after that, this is selected, and so on. In this way, we can find the range. Finally, I am going to give the answer for this question. What is the range of the first read-write memory? What is the middle order address? Zero zero zero. What is the higher order address? One zero zero. One zero zero. What is the middle order address? Zero zero zero. Now, lower order address. All zero to all one. Put the all zero to all. One. Always remember middle order address and higher order address will remain same. Okay. Now make the pair of four. It will become eight zero 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 H eight three. F F H A three F F A. This is the range of the first memory. This is the range of the first memory. Similarly, for this memory, A zero to A twelve is the higher order at a lower order address, and what is the higher order address? Zero 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 because it is connected to O zero. You are very simple. Put zero 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 here, and these all are the lower order address. So all are zero. To all are one, right? Then you can find all are zero. All are one. It will become zero 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 H to what? One F F F H. 
जीरो 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 एच टू वन एफ एफ एच ओके नो हाउ वी कैन फाइंड वॉट इज द कैपेसिटी ऑफ दिस वे वी कैन फाइंड द रेंज सिमिलरली यू कैन फाइंड द रेंज फॉर द थर्ड वन बट वॉट इज द टोटल कैपेसिटी तो टोटल कैपेसिटी मीन्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वॉट इज दिन वॉट इज द टोटल नंबर ऑफ रजिस्टर और नंबर ऑफ कैपेसिटी ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर मेमोरी ऑलवेज यू हैव टू फाइंड लास्ट एड्रेस रेंज लास्ट एड्रेस माइनस फर्स्ट एड्रेस प्लस वन वॉट इज द लास्ट एड्रेस हियर वन एफ 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 वॉट इज द फर्स्ट एड्रेस जीरो 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 यू विल गेट वन एफ 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 एच प्लस वन वेन आई एम एडिंग वन एफ 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 प्लस वन इट विल बिकम एफ प्लस वन सिक्सटीन दैट इज जीरो कैरी वन एफ प्लस सिक्सटीन जीरो कैरी वन एफ प्लस वन सिक्सटीन कैरी वन 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 जीरो दिस इज द टू जीरो जीरो एच टू जीरो 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 एच वॉट इज द टू जीरो 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 एच नाउ यू कैन कन्वर्ट टू जीरो जीरो एच मीन्स जीरो जीरो वन जीरो 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 राइट नाउ यू कैन काउंट टू जीरो से लेकर टू वन टू टू दी पावर टू 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 दी पावर थ्री वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन इलेवन ट्वेल्व थर्टीन फोर्टीन फिफ्टी नाइन सिक्सटीन तो इट विल बिकम टू टू दी पावर थर्टीन तो वॉट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस टू टू दी पावर थर्टीन Two to the power thirteen, you can write two to the power three into two to the power ten. You can write eight cross one k. So what is the capacity total? Eight k byte. Eight kilobyte. This is the capacity of that particular memory. So if the first address range, last address range is given, then you can find. This is the another question. It is the last address range minus the first address range plus one. Then convert it into the this number. and then my dear friend find the range 2 to the power 13 means it can deal with 2 to the power 13 addresses and what is the capacity each register have 8 bit so this is the byte 8 kilo byte to so dekhi dekhi answer aaya yes what is the written here yes 8k cross 8 what is the meaning of 8 byte 8k means 8 kilo that is the capacity similarly you can find the 8 kilo similarly you can find the capacity A zero to A nine that is connected here. This is called lower order address. Total ten lines. Two to the power ten means one k. Okay, this one type of question is over now. Second one. Now, my dear, this is the time to enter into what instruction set. Instruction set. Okay. Watch this. Who get now over? I think not is clear. Now, internal architecture means what uh, we are having uh, ALU that is called arithmetic logic unit. Then there is an instruction decoder. Then what? Uh, this is a memory outside the microprocessor that is the memory. This is the inside the portion, and this is called internal data bus. and there are uh, registers b c d e h l in every register we can store 8 bit of data 8 bit right and another one is what uh, this is called program status word p s w that is uh, accumulator and what flag register in a program status word there is a accumulator and what flag register Then this is the B C D and H L. This is called stack pointer. It is of sixteen bit. Program counter again. It is of sixteen bit, right? We can use B C as a register pair. So it will become eight plus plus eight sixteen. Or we can use the individual register B or individual register C. Register means what? Group of flip flop. And it is a group of eight flip flop. So B eight flip flop, C eight flip flop. Total sixteen. D eight flip flop, E eight eight flip flop. Total sixteen. And then similarly, H L sixteen eight plus eight sixteen. In a stack pointer, there will be the sixteen. In program counter, there will be the sixteen. Now we are having the address lines. Always remember, address lines is what unidirectional from microprocessor to peripheral. 
and here we are having the data lines and data line is what by directional inside the microprocessor there will be one instruction decoder one is a arithmetic logic unit and the control logic the control logic will develop the control signal read signal write signal according to the instruction right and uh, they will ask b c d e h or what l we can't make the pair of what b with the e b with the l we can't make the pair of l and c but we can make the pair of b c only d e only and what h l only okay so one by one we will discuss everything when we are doing any arithmetic operation or logical operation finally tell me result will be stored in which register everyone tell me when we are doing any arithmetic or logical operation then the result will be stored in which register so i think now this is the internal diagram is clear now so this is called the general purpose register b c d e h l 8 bit yes and that is available to what user and one there is a temporary register that is not available to the user that is normally known as what w and z these are not available to the user second one is what accumulator yes we have the instruction for the accumulator we have the instruction for of status and flag for example push and pop push and pop will deal with what program status word and stack pointer and program counter again if we have some instruction related to what stack pointer or program counter means it is available to what user available to user for example temporary register a temporary register means what wz interrupt control register latches 16 bit internal latches these are not available to us and that's why it is not available to user we have no instruction for this and that's why these are not available to user this is the internal hardware now accumulator plus flag register it is called program status word program status word this is called flag register and that is called accumulator 8 bit 8 bit total it will become 16 bit okay now we have the five flags kon kon se flag hai bata do jara kon kon se flag hain tell me five flags means carry flag zero flag right so we can count in a sequence sign whether it is positive or negative right and then what zero flag what about the result after the arithmetic operation or logical operation zero flag will define parity flag means number of ones in the answer in the accumulator auxiliary carry flag and finally is what carry flag there are five flag register five flag registers okay then these are the register it is a 8 bit special type of register in any arithmetic and logical operation performed between the two number then the result will be stored in what accumulator wo to aapko pata hoga accumulator mein store ho jayega and then this is a status and flag register please remember the position also they will give the this is the content of the flag register and what is the value then so remember the position this is the d7 is what sign flag d6 is what zero flag d5 is what don't care d4 is auxiliary carry d2 is what parity and this is the carry flag okay at just i am giving i want to give you one question suppose after any arithmetic operation it may be addition or it may be subtraction any arithmetic operation operation if the content of the accumulator is this is the content of the accumulator right and there is no overflow then what is the status of all the flags what is the status of all the flags tell me because there i am saying that there is no overflow if there is no overflow means carry flag is zero right after arithmetic operation what is the number of ones in the accumulator 1 2 3 4 if this is the even then parity will be one if it is odd then parity bit will remain zero 
तो नंबर ऑफ वन इन एक्यूमुलेटर वन एक दो तीन चार दैट इज वन टू थ्री फोर दिस इज द इवन नंबर दैट्स वाई द पैरिटी फ्लैग इज सेट ऑक्सिलरी कैरी वी कान से वाई वी कान से बिकॉज ऑक्सिलरी कैरी विल गिव द रिजल्ट वेन द देर इज अ कैरी फ्रॉम डी थ्री पोजिशन टू डी फोर दिस इज द डी नॉट डी वन डी टू डी थ्री डी फोर डी फाइव डी सिक्स एंड वॉट डी सेवन वैन देर इज अ कैरी फ्रॉम डी थ्री पोजिशन टू डी फोर पोजिशन देन वी कैन से auxiliary carry flag will set but we have no idea because arithmetic operation is not given so we can't say about the auxiliary carry flag so auxiliary carry flag we can't decide no doubt it will affect the signal zero flag zero means when after any arithmetic or logical operation if all the bits of accumulator will become zero 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 this is the result all the eight bit are zero then the zero flag will set but here it is not zero and that's why the zero flag is zero there is no over flag carry flag is zero we can't say about the auxiliary carry parity is one now finally the sign flag sign means after any logical operation any logical operation okay this is a blur uh, uh, tell me everyone that is uh, clear i think that is a uh, screen is clear otherwise i will work on it it is visible okay uh on my side i think everything is fine now kisi ko problem hai kya batao jaldi se rohit clear hai clear hai nehita is saying that it is clear rohit is also saying that it is clear okay then so that is the result sign flag means if the content of the accumulator finally if the content of the accumulator or in a d7 position is 1 d7 position if it is 1 whether we are dealing with the signed numbers or unsigned numbers it doesn't matter after any uh, logical operation or after any what arithmetic operation if the d7 bit is 1 then sign flag will be set sign flag will become 1 right so we have the different types of instruction when because of that the flag will affected according to the result okay to chaliye dekhte hain kis kis se flag affect hote hain aur kaise hoga to ab aate hain zara dekhe zara no to please refresh your system if you find any difficulty then to so this is the status and flag register to so this is a very very important one to so already i have given when the zero flag will set carry flag is set auxiliary carry flag is set now it is time to deal with what some instructions some instructions of 8085 microprocessor uh we have number of instructions so already uh, we can divide it into what different groups for example first very simple data transfer data transfer means what register to register or what uh, microprocessor to memory or memory to microprocessor microprocessor to input output devices or input output devices to what microprocessor so this is called data transfer or you can immediately directly you can load the data on a or b or c or d h or l so that is called immediate addressing and these are the data so we can we can divide all the instruction set into what data transfer group second one is what arithmetic group arithmetic means what addition subtraction increment decrement we are not having the instruction for what multiplication and division no instruction direct instruction for multiplication and division we have to make the problem multiplication means what multiple addition that is called multiplication or division means what multiple subtraction to so multiple subtraction when we are using the multiple addition we can uh, do what multiplication Multi with the help of multiple subtraction we can do what division so that is the concept so no separate instruction for multiplication and division in case of 8085 now logical group logic logical means what uh, when we are saying 1 plus 1 that is actually 2 2 means what 1 plus 1 in binary it is what 102 but logically means what 0 0 0 1 1 0 if it is a or game 0 0 is 0 0 1 is 1 1 0 is 1 and 1 1 is also 1 this is logically or logically or so we have instruction for and operation we have instruction for what or operation 
we have instruction for XOR operation, not for NAND, NOR, right guys, remember, AND operation, OR operation, instruction for XOR operation, but not for NAND, not for NOR, not for XNOR. And we have one instruction complement. Complement means complement the content of accumulator. 1 will become 0, 0 will become 1, CMA. This is called complement the content of accumulator. So this is called what logical operation, AND, OR, compare, rotate, complements, to compare, we can compare the data also, rotate the data, right, so these are the, but branch, means when we want to switch from one position to another position, one address, address to what, another address to, uh, right, so we are using the jump instruction, call instruction, to call the subroutine, service routine, we are using this instruction, these are called branch instruction, or this, that group is called what, branch group. So here call, return, jump, unconditional jump and what conditional jump we have to use. Last one is what stack input output and machine control group, right? Stack is nothing but a memory, right? Read, write, memory, stack. And we have one stack pointer related to what stack, okay. Here as it, abhi aap log jo jo pad rahe hain, aapko exam dena hai. Ask your friend to join the session now. Now, tell me. Next one. Data transfer group. This group instruction transfer data to and from the register and memory. Condition flags are not affected by any instruction in this group. So what is the most important thing is what? When we are transferring the data, no flags will affect no flags will affect because of what data transfer instruction. If suppose before that, before using the data transfer instruction, if the flags are modified, it will not change the status of what flag register, okay? If suppose the carry flag is 0, before data transfer operation, it will remain 0. If before data transfer, if it is 1, it will remain 1. Means it will not modify any flag register. It will not modify any flag register. Koi bolta na sir reset kar dega. It will reset or it will set. No. It will not modify the status of flag. Okay. Any flag. Okay. So that is the data transfer instruction. The data transfer may we have different types of instruction. First of all, first instruction is what move. When I am saying move A comma B. What is the meaning of this? The data of B will be copied in what? A. Data of B will be copied in A. So, this is the destination and that is the source. That is the destination and that is the source. So, data will copy from B to A or when I am writing a move B comma A, data will copy from A to B. It is, achha, achha, comments box, mein batao, yaar, kitne byte ke instruction hai? how many bytes? How many bytes instruction, what about the machine cycle and what about the t-state? It is a quick revision, just we have two days for, to batayye yaha pe likha hua bhi hai. It is a one machine cycle, how many t-states, that is the four in case of 8085 and 8080, it is five, but they will not ask. Please focus on the 8085 only. And addressing mode is register addressing mode because we are transferring the data from one register to another register and what about the flags? No flags are affected. No flags are affected. It is a one machine cycle and total 4T state. 4T clock is required to execute this instruction. That is called move A to move B. Okay. Then move A to move B. Similarly, move R comma M. What is the meaning of this move R comma M? When I am writing move A comma M. A comma M. So M is not any register. So data will transfer from memory to what accumulator? Data will transfer from what memory to what accumulator? Memory to accumulator means there will be the memory. In memory, like this is the location. Here we have the 35 H. We have the 35 H. After this instruction, that 35 H will copy to what A. Right, and that always remember that data of the source will not change. 35 will H. 
तो मूव ए कॉमा एम मीन्स वॉट मूव ए कॉमा एम नाउ विच विल गिव यू द लोकेशन ऑफ द मेमोरी एच एल पेयर In HL pair we have let four zero five zero. When I am writing move a comma m means the data from the memory location will transfer to or will copy to what accumulator, and the address of that memory location is given by content of HL pair. So this is the HL pair. We have the four zero five zero, and data will copy from this location to that location accumulator. Okay. For example, here it is thirty five. After this instruction. the content of accumulator will become 35h and the content of memory location will remain same the data of the source will remain same it is a two byte instruction uh, it is a one byte instruction because in memory location it will take only one byte right but it is a two machine cycle total 7t state two machine cycle and total 7t state register indirect addressing because address is di not directly given You have to. Uh, you are simply writing move a comma m. It will take the address from what HL pair, and that's why it is what indirect. That's why it is called indirect. Register indirect means data is transferred from memory location to what register. So register in direct addressing modes. Okay. When I am writing move m comma a opposite the data of accumulator returned to what memory. So actually, it is a memory read operation. When the data transfer from memory to microprocessor, that is called memory read operation. And when the data transfer from accumulator to memory, accumulator is a part of microprocessor, then it is called memory write operation. Memory write operation. Okay. So, आपको कितना पता है इसके बारे में? चलिए कुछ क्वेश्चन सॉल्व करें. Are you ready to solve some questions? Yes, please. तो कुछ इंपॉर्टेंट इंस्ट्रक्शन हैं उसके बारे में बताकर फिर हम लोग क्वेश्चन सॉल्व करेंगे जैसे कि आपका आ गया एल डी एल डी ए सिक्सटीन बिट दैट इज अंपॉर्टेंट इंस्ट्रक्शन एल डी एल डी ए का मतलब है व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दैट टू मीनिंग एल डी एंड एस टी एल डी ए मीन्स लोड लोड द एक्यूमलेटर एस टी मीन्स स्टोर द कंटेंट ऑफ एक्यूमलेटर तो वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस वैन आई एम राइटिंग एल डी ए फोर जीरो फाइव जीरो एल डी ए फोर जीरो फाइव जीरो मीन्स वी हैव वन मेमोरी देर इज अ वन लोकेशन फोर जीरो फाइव जीरो इन दिस लोकेशन देर इज अ थर्टी फाइव एच वैन आई एम राइटिंग एल डी ए फोर जीरो फाइव जीरो मीन्स इन दैट लोकेशन द कॉन्टेंट इज थर्टी फाइव एच इट विल बी स्टोर्ड इन वॉट accumulator it will be stored in what accumulator so 35 will stored in accumulator 35h from that particular memory location it is a direct addressing because direct address is written here so move a comma m will give, uh, will do the same work but in that case we are not writing the address the address is in what hl pair address is in what hl pair so here we are directly writing the address lda 405 the load the accumulator with this data similarly sta similarly what sta sta 16 store accumulator direct means content of accumulator if suppose i am writing sta 4060 now in accumulator we have 35h after this instruction there is a one memory location That is called four zero six zero. This the content of the accumulator will be saved here. Thirty five H and we are doing what memory write, memory write data transfer from accumulator to microprocessor and that's why this is called memory write. So this is the S T A four zero six zero S T A four zero six zero. instruction okay sta4060 means okay hmm sta4060 means it is a three byte instruction 1 2 3 and tell me 
हाउ मेनी मशीन साइकिल्स हाउ मेनी मशीन साइकिल्स तो एस टी एफ आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू एस टी एन एल डी ए यू विल गेट द आइडिया ऑलवेज रिमेंबर वेन आई एम राइटिंग एस टी ए फोर जीरो सिक्स जीरो वी हैव टू राइट फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद द टू जीरो जीरो यू हैव टू राइट द ऑफ कोड देन वॉट सिक्स जीरो देन वॉट फोर जीरो ऑफ कोड सिक्स जीरो एंड देन वॉट लोअर ऑर्डर एड्रेस देन हायर ऑर्डर एड्रेस तो इट विल कंज्यूम वॉट थ्री बाइट इन मेमोरी एंड दैट्स वॉट इज कॉल थ्री बाइट इंस्ट्रक्शन बट वॉट अबाउट द फंक्शन फर्स्ट फंक्शन इज ऑफ कोड ऑफ कोड फैच देन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल रीड दिस लोअर ऑर्डर एड्रेस दैट इज कॉल्ड मेमोरी रीड रीड दिस हायर ऑर्डर एड्रेस मेमोरी रीड एंड फाइनली स्टोर द डेटा ऑफ एक्यूमुलेटर टू द मेमोरी एंड दैट इज कॉल्ड मेमोरी राइट फोर्थ साइकिल इज वॉट मेमोरी राइट Here of course fetch four T state is required. This is the three. This is the three. This is the three. Total thirteen T states. Thirteen T states is required. But when we are saying LDA four zero five zero again, if I am going to start with the two zero zero two zero zero one two zero zero two LDA of code lower order higher order, it will consume what three byte. Right, three byte position in uh, memory. That's what is called three byte instruction. But how many machine cycle? Four machine cycle. First is called of code fetch. Of code fetch. Second one is called memory read. Third one is called memory read. It will read the fifty, and then it will read the forty, and finally, it will get the data from four zero five zero location to what accumulator? So again, memory read. Memory read, memory read, memory read, and opcode fetch. Four plus three plus three plus three total again thirteen T states. Thirteen T state is are uh, required for this particular instruction, right? So that is what. Uh, so that will be the question. How many T states is required? So tell me, everyone, give me the answer for LXI. How many T state is required? LXI H four zero five zero. Tell me how many. Everyone, give me the answer. How many byte? Three byte instruction, two byte or one byte instruction? Everyone, tell me. How many machine cycle is required? Machine cycle for this T states. Okay, filling the blanks. Give me the answer. Deepak, Rohit, Nita, जितने लोग भी attend कर रहे हैं बताइए क्या answer होगा इसका? चलिए अब question round चालू हो गया आप लोगों का. For LXI H four zero five zero. For LXI H four zero five zero, how many byte machine cycle and T state? Tell me. Is required for this LXI four zero five zero. How many? Right. So LXI H four zero five zero means four zero five zero. It is a three byte instruction because in memory it will consume what three byte. First of all, opcode fetch, lower order address, then higher order address. This is a three byte instruction. And what is the meaning of this? After this instruction, HL pair in HL, this five zero is stored in lower order address, four zero is stored in higher order. Directly, immediately we have to load the data, sixteen bit data in register pair. So it is a three machine cycle of code fetch. Memory read, memory read. This is the three machine cycle and total T states four plus three plus three. That is the ten T states only. Ten T state. Immediately we have to store what four zero five zero in what HL HL pair. यार किसी ने भी जवाब नहीं दिया क्या बात है आप लोगों का microprocessor आप लोगों को interest नहीं आ रहा कि अभी तक पूरा ध्यान gate में रहे. देखो already अब gate का paper हो गया. Now we have one or two days left for what engineering services exam. right so please revise all that and then then guys microprocessor again uh, you are going to get some interesting question from what microprocessor 8085 and basic questions from what 8086 already i have given you the basic difference between the 8086 and 8085 in case of 8086 uh, we have the instruction for what multiplication division and then there is a pipelining in what 8086 
right you are going to get the questions from what advanced electronics advanced communication computer organization and architecture and then what uh, new topics material science already we have taken uh, session on that and then uh, measurement okay material science basic electrical engineering okay किस वाले कॉन्सेप्ट में प्रॉब्लम आती है बताओ दीपक ये देखो यहां पर ना दो चीज है आई आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू चलो सबके सब समझ लेना कुछ वर्किंग होती है मैं तीन इंस्ट्रक्शन से आपको समझाता हूं ओके फॉर एग्जांपल आपने एक इंस्ट्रक्शन लिखा मूव ए कॉमा बी इस इंस्ट्रक्शन में दैट इज द डेट ऑफ बी विल बी कॉपीड इन ओके एंड इट हैज ऑफ कोड नो नीड टू मग अप द ऑफ कोड नो नीड टू मग अप द ऑफ कोड इट हैज एट बिट ऑफ कोड ऑफ कोड मीन एनी वैल्यू एक्स वाई दिस इज अ टोटल एट बिट इट इज रिटर्न इन एक्सा डेसिमल मूव ए कॉमा बी तो दिस टू स्टोर दिस ऑफ कोड ओनली वन मेमोरी लोकेशन इज रिक्वायर्ड ओनली वन मेमोरी लोकेशन इज रिक्वायर्ड मूव ए कॉमा बी एंड दैट्स वैट इज कॉल्ड वन बाइट इंस्ट्रक्शन दैट्स वैट इज कॉल्ड वन बाइट इंस्ट्रक्शन and what about the a that is the inside the accumulator uh, inside the microprocessor what about the b that is the inside the microprocessor and we are writing the program on the memory and that is the outside the microprocessor so first of all microprocessor will communicate with the memory and that will get the instruction and in instruction decoder it will fetch it will decode the instruction and it will get the idea that i have to copy the data from b to what a what about the b inside the microprocessor what about the a inside the microprocessor then no need to go outside to so instruction just after the instruction the data of b will be copied in a so only one time it will read the memory and that first time it, it will read the memory and that is called what of code fetch and this is nothing but memory read operation why because that instruction is written in what this here in memory then second i am when i am writing एम वी आई ए थर्टी एट एच वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस यू हैव टू स्टोर द थर्टी एट इमीडिएटली इन एक्टर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल एम वी आई ए तो दैट इज द ऑफ कोड दैट इज द ऑफ कोड ओके वन मिनट गेम वन मिनट okay that is the op code mvia 38h now to store the op code you have to use the one memory location that will be the op code no need to mug up the op code that is the mvia and in another location you will store what 38h or data may be anything 38 48 56 that may be anything data means how many location in memory two location is required and that's why it is called two byte instruction because it is a one byte of code is of 8 bit one byte it is again 8 bit to so one byte one byte means two byte is required okay then what is the function of this first of all it will fetch the of code after fetching the of code it will get the idea the next data will be stored in what accumulator 38h then first operation is what mem of code fetch i am writing the of code fetch second is what memory read of code fetch is also a memory read operation so this is the memory read memory read two machine cycle for first one four t state is required for second one three t state is required total seven t state is required to execute this instruction for this only four t state is required for this four plus three seven t state is required two machine cycle right memory read of uh, code fetch memory read now let next lxi p 4070h what is the meaning of this immediately you want to store what 4050 in bc register here we will write lxi b of code in 2004 first of all write the lower order address 7 Two zero zero five. You will write the higher order address four zero. So, what is the meaning of this instruction? You have to store the four zero seven zero in BC register. Okay. So, first one, this is called of code fetch. Four T state is required. Second case, 
this will read the memory read in 70 and that 70 is transfer from memory to what microprocessor and it is stored in what bc this is the 70 then again it will read the memory 40 40 is stored in what from memory to what microprocessor 40 so what is this first instruction is what opcode fetch second is what memory read third is also memory read so there are three machine cycles and 4 plus 3 plus 3 total what is the total t state 10 t states okay this is the lxi three byte instruction now finally when i am writing the sta or just try to understand i am writing the lda Four zero seven zero. Four. What is the meaning of this? LDA four zero seven zero. So LDA is the opcode. It will take one location. This is the opcode. Two zero zero seven. You have to write what lower order address seven zero. Two zero zero eight. You have to write the higher order address four zero. That is the lower than higher. How many byte is required? Tell me, Deepak. In memory, we have we want to store this instruction that is for output, lower order, higher order. One, two, three, three byte instruction. Now try to understand the function of this. First of all, output fetch. This is called output fetch. Four T state is required. This is called output fetch. After decoding this, that it, that will it, this instruction will move from memory to microprocessor. After decoding this, microprocessor will get the idea. What is the idea? There is a one location 4070. There is a 16 bit location. No idea about the address, but there is a 16 bit location or address from where I have to take the data and uh, it should be stored in what accumulator? Simple. What is the function? Get the data from the 16 bit address and store it into what accumulator? Now, what will do the microprocessor? First of all, output fetch, then memory read. And it is stored in what Z register. Again, memory read, it will be stored in the W register. W and Z are the temporary register inside the microprocessor. Okay. First of all, opcode fetch, then lower order address in Z, higher order address in what? W. Operation is over. No. Operation is not over. In LXI, it is over because LXI B means you have to store the 4070 in BC. It is over, but this is not over. First of all, take the 70, then 40. Now, 4 plus 3 plus 3, this is 7, but it is not completed. After that, now the microprocessor will communicate with the which location 4070. So, memory location let 4070 is here, and here we have the data 35H. Then, in next step, microprocessor will upload the address bus by 4070. Highlight this address, finally read this data and store it in what accumulator? Then the instruction is over. Then the instruction is over. Tell me, first of all, opcode fetch, second memory read, fourth, third memory read and fourth is also again memory read. So, there are four machine cycles. No doubt it is a three, -bit inst a three byte instruction, but there is a four machine cycle of code fetch memory read memory read memory read so how many total t state chart in sat in dust in tera 13 t state 4 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 that is what total 13 t state is required to execute what lda instruction now i think it is clear no doubt what is the maximum in microprocessor three byte instruction whether it is a call jump lda sta all are three byte instruction lxi Maximum 3 byte, 1 byte instruction, 2 byte instruction, 3 byte. But machine cycle is not equivalent to what byte. 3 byte instruction, 3 machine cycle is required. 3 byte instruction, 4 machine cycle is required. 3 byte instruction, 5 machine cycle is also required. That is in what call, call instruction. So call, for example, there is a one instruction that is called call 405, call 6070H. It is a opcode fetch. For example, I am storing here. The call is the opcode. Lower order address. Higher order address. It is a three byte instruction. It is how many byte? Three byte instruction. But how many 
मशीन साइकिल टोटल फाइव मशीन साइकिल फाइव मशीन साइकिल एंड हाउ मेनी टी स्टेट मैक्सिमम दैट इज द एटीन टी स्टेट इज रिक्वायर्ड हियर एटीन टी स्टेट इज रिक्वायर्ड हियर तो दे विल आस्क क्वेश्चन इन विच इंस्ट्रक्शन मैक्सिमम टी स्टेट इज रिक्वायर्ड दैट इज द कॉल इंस्ट्रक्शन सी ए डबल एल ओके तो मशीन साइकिल का टी स्टेट और डिले से उससे आपका आप, उससे आपका मतलब कितने बाइट का इंस्ट्रक्शन देर इज नो रिलेशन बिटवीन नॉट हाउ मेनी बाइट्स एंड व्हाट हाउ मेनी मशीन साइकिल तो यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड द फंक्शन व्हाट इज द फंक्शन ऑफ दैट तो रिमेंबर दैट कॉल मींस टोटल मशीन साइकिल फाइव टोटल टी स्टेट इज व्हाट एटीन टोटल टी स्टेट इज एटीन गिव मी वन मिनट गिव मी वन मिनट please revise all this one minute and i will continue with that हेलो कितने लोग प्रेजेंट है भाई जरा कमेंट्स में बता दीजिए अभी तो आज के आज लगता है आपका सबका ध्यान रेस्पॉन्स सीट और माइक उससे भी लगा हुआ है एट जीरो एट फाइव सॉरी आपके गेट वाले पे देखो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस सम इम्पोर्टेंट इंस्ट्रक्शन दैट इज व्हाट एल एच एल डी जैसे फॉर एग्जाम्पल दिस इज द एल एच एल डी वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस राइट ऑलरेडी आई हैव गिवन यू द आइडिया अबाउट द कॉल इंस्ट्रक्शन सिक्स जीरो सेवन जीरो मूव एम वी आई एल एक्स आई एल डी ए Now there is a one important instruction that is called LHLD four zero five zero. So what is the LHLD means? The content of the memory location whose address is specified in byte two and byte three. This is the byte two and that is the byte three of the instruction is moved to register L and the content of the memory location at the succeeding address is moved to register H. Means 
always remember it is a three byte instruction means in 2000 we will write lhld this is called up code 2001 we will write what 50 and 2002 we have write next 8 bit higher order address bit this is the 40 okay then this is a very very important instruction normally in engineering services exam question from that instruction lhld for example there is a one memory location this is the memory in memory this is the first memory location 4050 this is the second memory location 4051 okay here for example it is written 22h here written 55h what is the meaning of this instruction first of all microprocessor will do the opcode fetch first second memory read it will get the data 50 third memory read 40 now it is stored in what wz register inside the microprocessor 4050 so this operation is over memory uh, opcode fetch memory read memory read so there is a three machine cycle but work is not over what is the work actually after that microprocessor will load the address bus with this address 4050 and again it will communicate with the again it will communicate with the memory and what is the uh, data in the 4050 22 now it will read the memory and 22 is stored in what lower of hl that is the this is called high this is called low so it is stored here 22 okay now what is this memory read this is called fourth machine cycle again it is a memory read fourth machine cycle now work is not over now my dear friend 4050 is inside the microprocessor it will increment it it will become 4051 now it will uploaded in the address bus again the microprocessor will read the data at 4051 that is the 55 and now 55 is stored in what h so hl is stored with what 5522 lower order address lower uh, this data will be stored in l this data will be stored in h lower order uh, yeah lower order lower address it is a higher address so, uh, data in lower address is stored in l data in higher order is stored in h now the work is over my dear friend tell me how many cycle five machine cycle first is called opcode fetch always remember opcode fetch is nothing but memory read we are reading the memory again memory read memory read memory read memory read So five four in opcode fetch three 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 three. Now you can count. So total, up to again sixteen T states. Sixteen T state and what is the machine cycle? Five machine cycle. That is called LHLD. When we are using the L word means load. Load means what? Towards microprocessor. When we are using the S, store the data. Store the data in what memory? Normally we are saying that now store the. So we are storing in what Almira? Loading means we are taking on our side. So that is called load and what is store. So this is the case. So this is a very important instruction. Okay. So any doubt? Any doubt in this? Yes, yes. Tell me. No doubt. Okay. Then. S H L D four zero six zero. S H L D. Same opposite. S H L D means store the content of store the content of H L. This is four zero six zero is the location. Four zero six one is the next location. Store the content of H L. For example, in H L, we are having that thirty three fifty fifty six. After this instruction, the content of HL will be stored in the memory location. Lower will be stored in the lower fifty six, and higher will be stored in the higher. We are next to memory location. This is called stored. So store the data. The content of the register L is moved to the memory location whose address is specified in byte two and byte three. The content of the register H is moved to the succeeding memory location means four zero six one. Again, opcode fetch. memory read memory read 
memory write memory write there will be the five machine cycle first output fetch memory read memory read memory write memory write total five machine cycle four three 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 four 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 three are you getting this no problem so this is about the micro uh, this is about the instruction these are the very important instruction now similarly we have some important instruction like what this pchl 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 means the content of the register h is moved to the high order 8 bit of the register pc content of the register h is moved to the high order and content of the l is moved to the lower order means pc when i we are writing the pc hl simply only one byte instruction only one byte instruction if suppose hl has the content 3070h so after this instruction that 3070 is stored in what program counter this after this the 3070 will stored in what program counter from hl to what program counter and program counter is responsible for what sequence of the program means we can change the sequence of the program from one memory location to another by using this instruction pc hl pc hl so this is the 3070 3070 is stored in program counter now what about the hl inside the microprocessor what about the program counter inside the microprocessor means it is a one byte instruction we are going to store one code for what pc hl and only 6t state is required only 6t state is required in case of 8085 no need to mug up this addressing is register addressing we are dealing with the register to register transfer cycle one cycle and so on 3070 okay okay then so this is this type of instruction my dear friend pc hl and so on now if you have any doubts then you can ask then we will solve some question okay guys are you ready to solve some numericals in one minute okay take it they will ask which which will clear the accumulator how many instructions to clear the accumulator which one of the one write one line instruction that make the content of accumulator 0 0 regardless of the previous state of a this type of questions normally in engineer in engineering services exam how we can clear the accumulator a directly we can load 00h to what accumulator after that it will become 00h okay second subtract a with the a this is sub means what where we are subtracting the content of accumulator with the accumulator for example in a 35h when i am writing subtract a means the data of a will be subtracted with what a it will become 35 minus 35 what will be the content 00h and finally the result will be stored in accumulator so this is the 00h so subtract a with the a again a and i f the right a and i 00h means immediately end end matlab logical end logical end right immediate for example in accumulator we have 35h what is the 35h and end means a and i 0000 end with this data So one zero is zero, zero zero is zero, one zero is zero, zero zero is zero, one zero is zero, one zero is zero, one zero and zero. This will become zero, and zero flag will set. Zero flag will set one. It will become right. So that is the another instruction to may uh, to clear the data of accumulator. The last one is XRA. XRA A मतलब इस exclusive or for example zero zero one one zero one zero one. This is exclusive or with the same data. 
So what is the exclusive order of one one zero 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 one one zero 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 one one zero one one zero 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 zero. Again, it will clear the accumulator. Okay. Again, it will clear the accumulator. So that is the important. How we can clear the accumulator? What are the four instructions? So there will there will be the four option like this A B C D. All the four are correct. But in uh, in engineering services. Which type of question? There will be the four statement. One, two, three, four. They will give you the four option. One, two, three, correct. One, two, correct. Two, four, correct. All correct. Tell me which answer is correct. All. One, two, three, four. We can use this four instruction to clear the accumulator. Clear the accumulator. Okay. So. मतलब ये एक तरीके का ना एमएसक्यू है एक तरीके का क्या है ये दिस इज अमएसक्यू ओके ओके देन चलिए तो ये आ गया आपका इंस्ट्रक्शन तो कैसा क्वेश्चन आएगा दैट इज ऑन व्हाट इंस्ट्रक्शन तो देर आर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ इंस्ट्रक्शन बट रिमेंबर व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द लॉजिकल ऑपरेशन आई ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड देर आर थ्री मेन लॉजिकल ऑपरेशन दैट इज वॉट एंड और एंड वॉट एक्सॉर ए एन ए मीन्स वेन वी वॉन्ट टू और दर एंड द कॉन्टेंट ऑफ एनी रजिस्टर विद द एक्यूमुलेटर देन वी आर यूजिंग ए एन ए वेन वेन वी वॉन्ट टू एंड द इमीडिएट डेटा डायरेक्ट डेटा देन वी आर यूजिंग ए एन आई वेन वी वॉन्ट टू और द कॉन्टेंट ऑफ एनी रजिस्टर वी आर यूजिंग द ओ आर ए और अदरवाइज इमीडिएट एड्रेसिंग मीन्स ओ आर आई सिमिलरली एक्स आर ए or xri cma that is called complement the content of the accumulator now trying to understand this is a very 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 important table very very important table means after ana all flags affected sign flag affected zero flag affected parity affected auxiliary carry affected carry flag affected but sign flag affected according to the result zero flag affected according to the result parity affected according to the result but auxiliary carry will set and carry flag will reset remember that is very important again in case of or operation auxiliary carry reset carry flag reset in xra operation auxiliary carry reset carry reset so these are the value so remember it is a fixed value so in case of ana there is a one important thing auxiliary carry will what set auxiliary carry flag will set after end operation whether it is a register or immediate addressing so this is the ana and that to so ana to so carry flag is set auxiliary carry is set carry is reset auxiliary carry reset 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 so you have to remember exceptional cases here the after this instruction auxiliary carry will set auxiliary carry will set and carry flag will reset in all these and uh, what about the all other the flags sign flag zero flag and parity according to the result for example for example let the content of accumulator is 35h 35h means 0011010101 this is the content of the accumulator now when i am writing a n a b now i want to end the content of b with the a to so let the content of b is right 45h 45h okay what is the content of b 45 0100 0101 45h this is the content of b and operation 11 100 11 100 11 100 11 100 11 After the end operation, that result will be saved in what accumulator? Okay. Now read this. This is the content of accumulator. So D seven, D six, D five, D four, D three, D two, D one, D not. First of all, what about the sign flag? Sign flag will be zero. Why? Because this D seven bit is zero. D seven of the accumulator is zero, and that's why sign flag is zero. Okay. What about the zero flag? Right, zero flag is zero because the result is not zero. Result is not zero, and that's why zero flag. 
now what about the parity flag parity flag number of ones one one even number even number means it will set if the number of ones after the logical operation is even in accumulator then it is one what about the auxiliary carry it is always set it is always set after the end operation and what about the carry flag reset it will become zero and that is the status of what flag register after a n a operation a n a operation suppose i am writing a n i it is immediate a n i 45 h it will do the same work but it is immediate a n i 45 means or the 45 with the content of accumulator so that the, the same result we are going to get the same result here okay so in this way we can uh, solve what xra ora that is the logical but remember in case of ora in xra auxiliary carry will reset carry will reset other and the remaining three flags will affected according to the results according to the results okay so this is all about the instructions okay then now so my dear friends i will upload the pdf also to so join my telegram channel that is the electronics by sanjay rathi right so these are the summary about the instruction already i have given the hint it in a very small time it is not uh, possible to uh, give the each and everything about all the instructions so that's why this is the machine cycle f, f for what f means opcode fetch opcode fetch and what is this is the number of t states re r means memory read memory read or write means memory write right sometimes uh, input output read is also there so, uh, it is written as what ri ri means input read ro means uh, w means output write input and output operation so this is the fri opcode fetch read and this is what input operation opcode fetch read and what output operation there will be a three operation output write input read always there in our input we are reading the data output we are writing the data so these are the number of t states number of what t states here okay so chaliye bhai thoda sa josh dikha do aap log ek bar sabhi isko samajh lijiye ki 8085 right and now we have the two days for that is what 17 and 18 uh, i will give you the idea about that i will upload the pdf on my telegram channel that is electronics by sanjay rathi so this is the instruction that is the instruction right all the instructions are written here that is the table now tell me this type of questions that is the they will give you the idea what is the loaded here ora the loop then jump on carry and so on okay some jumping instructions and so on uh, before that i want to give you some important numericals right first of all tell me they will give you this type of problem and they will ask what is the content of what uh, output port that is the address is 05h and uh, this is a very 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 simple question okay tell me what is the answer what is the answer that is not written here this is the not written here but mvia lxi subtract m out 05 and halt okay tell me at the output port what about the data kya data display hoga jaise program diya na dekhiye mvi a a1h first of all write the location 100h mvi a this is the opcode 1001 you have to write what a1h this is the data a1h and after that in accumulator we are going to store what a1h that is called immediate when i am writing the lxi h lxi 1003 lower order address 
हायर ऑर्डर एड्रेस जीरो सेवन जीरो वन जीरो दिस इज अ थ्री बाइट इंस्ट्रक्शन टू राइट द लोकेशन वन जीरो सब्ट्रैक्ट एम ऑपकोट फैच ओनली वन बाइट इंस्ट्रक्शन सब्ट्रैक्ट एम मीन्स सब्ट्रैक्ट द डेटा ऑफ मेमोरी लोकेशन फ्रॉम एक्यूमुलेटर वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ एम यूर ऑलवेज रिमेंबर मीनिंग ऑफ एम इज वॉट द एड्रेस इज गिवन बाय द एच एल पेयर एड्रेस इज गिवन बाय द एच एल पेयर आउट सब्ट्रैक्ट टाइम वन बाइट इंस्ट्रक्शन आउट सिक्स आउट एंड वॉट इज आउट मीन्स द कॉन्टेंट ऑफ एक्यूमुलेटर विल डिस्प्ले एट द आउटपुट पोर्ट right it is transfer from accumulator to output port and what is the address of the output port 8 bit address that is given by 05h finally halt program will stop here okay now what is the meaning of this now we are storing the data a1h in this this is the two byte instruction a and we are lxi h this is the lxi h in hl pair in hl pair 07 first of all we are writing the 07 then we are writing the 10 so what is the content of hl pair 1007 after this instruction this is a 3 byte instruction when we are saying that subtract m subtract m means the content of memory is subtracted from the accumulator so what is the content of the accumulator a1 subtract m the memory location is given by hl to 1007 to in 1007 what is the data 05 means we have to subtract the 05 from the accumulator to so, subtract a1 minus 05 uh, here the two's complement method is used but you can directly use the hexadecimal subtraction 16 plus 1 17 17 5 17 that is what 12 and 12 is written as what c Right, sixteen plus one seventeen. Seventeen minus five. That is what twelve. Twelve is written as C. Carry A is ten nine C. Let's check my calculation. Now this result will be stored in what accumulator? This result will be stored in accumulator. So after this instruction, the content of accumulator will become nine C H. You can check my calculation. Okay, nine C H. I am doing the hexadecimal subtraction here. That is the part of digital. 9 ch when i am writing out 05h means there is a one device whose location is what 05h this location is what 05h the content of the accumulator means 9c is display here or 9c is stored here so that is called the data of the accumulator is transferred to the output port that is what 9c or copied here right and after this instruction the content of accumulator will remain same that is the 9c h i think now this program is clear everyone this program is clear so in a pre we have to solve what total 120 questions or 150 questions within 3 hours technical paper na so we can't waste more than 1 minute or 2 minutes in on in a particular question right So they will give you the four liner or five liner in case of uh, micro, uh, from the microprocessor. Sometimes maximum ten. Right? So step by step solve the question, try to get the answer. Okay? And this type of question we may expect in engineering services pre-exam. So this is a very easy program. Tha instruction step by step instructions are here. To write the complete program, how many memory location is required? That may be the question. So this is the two. This is three. This is one. This is two. This is one. Three plus two, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, this is the from one zero zero eight to what one zero zero. That is the total nine location. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and what nine? No need to write the address. If it is directly asked, it will take two byte, three byte, one byte, two byte. This is the one byte total. Nine byte is required. Means nine memory location is required to store this particular program. This type of questions they may. ask okay so that is the question okay then now so guys this is a uh, this is about the microprocessor so revise this type of question right this is a 
already uh, i have tried to given you the all the important point regarding that okay give me one minute yes there is a, another important uh, point is what interrupts that is called what hardware interrupts so what are the hardware interrupts everyone tell me hardware interrupts is what trap rst 7.5 rst 6.5 rst 5.5 these are the hardware interrupt another one the hardware interrupt is interrupt request interrupt request i n t r interrupt request so total five right now whenever we are saying that trap highest priority is what trap and this is equivalent to what 4.5 what is the meaning of that simply multiply the just for example 7.5 multiply the 7.5 into 8 you will get the location that is called vectored these all are what vectored interrupt after getting this interrupt the program will switch to this particular location and that's why these are called what vectored interrupt but intr that is the interrupt request it is a general purpose interrupt it is not a vectored interrupt so this is the vectored interrupt these are the vectored interrupt how we can find the location 7.5 into 8 first of all multiply this is the 40 8 into 7 that is what uh, 56 plus 60 this is in decimal now convert it into what hexadecimal when i want to convert it into hexadecimal this is divided by what 16 you will get the 3 c h program will shift to what 0 0 3 c h this is the location 0 0 3 c h similarly 6.5 multiplied with the 8 you will get the decimal and convert into hexadecimal you will get the 0 0 3 4 h 5.5 multiplied with 8 convert it into hexadecimal you will get the 0 0 2 c h that is called location and a trap is equivalent to what 4.5 4.5 multiplied with the 8 right that has become 36 and what is the this is not a this is in a decimal you have to convert it into what hexadecimal in hexadecimal it will become 0024 h you can check this is the 4 16 into 2 this is the 32 32 plus 4 36 h 36 in decimal 0024 h and that is the location when we are giving the trap interrupt so these are called what hardware interrupt right hardware interrupt so this type of basic questions they will ask in what coming exam so please revise that and for pdf you can join my telegram channel that is electronics by what sanjay rati okay guys so try to solve this type of question you are on baiju's exam prep this is a very important and was uh, uh, this is a, a very uh, vast subject but जितना भी आपने रिवाइज किया है जितना आपको दिमाग में आता है उतना आप बनाइए दो दिन बचा हुआ है कूल रहिए जितना आपसे बनता होगा बनेगा देखो जितने भी डेफ्थ वाले क्वेश्चन है ना जिनकी तैयारी है वो है दो दिन में आप ऐसा नहीं कर सकते कि एकदम प्रोग्राम लिखना चालू कर दें या फिर लूप वाले जो प्रोग्राम है उसके क्वेश्चन को बनाना चालू कर दें लेकिन याद रखिए जो ईजी क्वेश्चन है ना जो स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड क्वेश्चन है और माइक्रो प्रोसेसर अबाउट द पिन डायग्राम मेमोरी इंटरफेसिंग मशीन साइकिल राइट हाउ मेनी मशीन साइकिल इज रिक्वायर्ड हाउ मेनी नंबर ऑफ टी स्टेट्स इज रिक्वायर्ड जैसा कि मैंने आपको बताया इन केस ऑफ कॉल टोटल 18 टी स्टेट्स इज रिक्वायर्ड दिस इज द हाईएस्ट वन फॉर द कॉल इंस्ट्रक्शन टू जंप तो यू कैन वॉच ऑल द इंस्ट्रक्शन गेट द आइडिया अबाउट द मशीन साइकिल गेट द आइडिया अबाउट वॉट टी स्टेट्स राइट नॉर्मली दे विल आस्क दिस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन एंड अबाउट द इंटरप्ट ऑलरेडी आई हैव गिवन यू द आइडिया अबाउट द इंटरप्ट वॉट इज द नेचर ऑफ द इंटरप्ट एंड सो ऑन ओके गाइज प्लीज रिवाइज ऑल दिस थिंग्स फ्रॉम योर शॉर्ट नोट्स एंड डिटेल नोट्स you are on byju's exam prep thank you for attending the session from this qr code you will get the link of our telegram channel and that is the link join subscribe the channel share the link of this session and like the session thank you very much and good luck for coming exams aur yaad rakhiyega just exam ke baad hum log analysis karenge on 19th feb at 5 pm and what 6 pm 5 pm non technical portion 6 pm what technical portion okay guys thank you and good night